Ladies and gentlemen, it is a good day today. We have another unboxing and review video for you. My name is Chris, and of course, this right here is the Pro Scenic Robotic Vacuum. We're looking at the newest. Ladies and gentlemen, this bad boy right here is Amazon Alexa, or Echo Dot, whatever you like to call it. It works with your Amazon Alexa. That's what I'm talking about. I'm probably triggering mine. As and before I forget, in the top link of the description box is gonna be the link for this product. All right, now back to the review. I wanna unbox this, show it to you. Don't wanna make this video too long, so let's get right on into it right here. The model number is 811GB by ProScenic. And without further ado, let's unbox it. Let's get right on into it, ladies and gentlemen. Opens up like a laptop box. Have your little cardboard insert right here. We have all sorts of fresh, wonderful little ingredients here. We got a user manual here. We got, of course, you know, you will have to use that for setting it up with your Amazon Alexa. Here is the app right here, etc. All your quick start guides. You don't want to skip that. That's definitely going to help you right here. Here we go right here. There is the main robotic vacuum we'll get to in a second. We do have a very nice remote control, as we can see there. Very nice, actually. Little LCD screen on there. Pop that back into play real quick. Right here, we have some sort of, looks like very heavy type of, almost like tape. This might be a border. You can border off certain areas of your house. Don't quote me on that one, not sure quite yet. Or maybe a bumper for the robotic vacuum. Here we have our charging docking plug here. And in the right hand side, we're gonna have our dock, but we do have to get out the main portion of the vacuum first. Very nicely packaged. Let's slip this bad boy out right here, ladies and gentlemen. This is absolutely fantastic. There is our beautiful robotic vacuum. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a sexy device. We do have a piece of plastic over the top, one of those kind of, you know, little stickery things to keep it nice and fresh. Don't remove that if you don't want to but you do need to remove these because that is for your bumper stops right there. You would pull these out here, one and two right there so that your bumper can trigger properly. We'll get back to the robotic vacuum and the details of it in just a second here. We do have two pads, two cloth pads for mopping, one and two there. We do have one brush, two brush, three brushes, and four brushes here, absolutely fantastic. And then we have, of course, our charging dock right here. This, of course, would go on the ground up near an outlet where the cord can reach. And then after you're done, the robotic vacuum will dock itself and charge up on these prongs right here. Absolutely fantastic. And lastly, we have another filter with a brush. Fantastic. So now let's get into the fun stuff here. We have our on and off button up here, our Wi-Fi little connect button there. We have on the side, endless love for the family. We have on the back here, our little pull out for the filter here. And that has a little handle that brings it right up, our little trap here with our filter right on top. Of course, that just kind of clips back into place right there. Absolutely fantastic. All little connect areas there. That just slips right on back underneath. Push in the little button, bada bing, bada boom. Again, the Pro Scenic V Slam 811GB. We have our on and off switch right here and our plug in port if you want to just directly charge it in without the docking station. On the bottom, little brush roll here, two wheels, our little area right here you would attach the mop, a little wheel here to pivot it, our charging dock little prongs here, and then over here on the left and right you would attach the little brooms left and right, and again, you have four of those brooms. So what happens is the broom goes around, sweeps it in, like if it's underneath the couch, sweeps it into, and then the broom pushes it up into the trap. We already saw the front of it, but again, that's your little bumper for when it just easily touches something, it would turn around. Give you a low profile design, that's your typical one pound coffee from Starbucks. So as you can see there, Hopefully you guys are familiar with that there. So anyway, very low profile design. I love the color by the way. And everything will be in the description box below the video so you can read more about it. Pick one up yourself. Okay, according to the quick start guy, we can fire it right up. And by the way, the filters are HEMPA, H-E-P-A filters. Absolutely fantastic, you get two of them, one already in the machine and a spare one. Attaching the brushes is really simple. Just make sure you have the right one, the R to the right, clicks right into place. And of course the L will be for the left hand side over here and just clicks into place like that. All right, to get started, just flip the power switch on the 
right hand side, little chime comes up, and then we see this little blue LED light for the power button. Go ahead and set it down here, and then we're gonna go ahead and push that power button. And it'll start there. As you can see, just lightly bumps into the edges, turns around. And now what it'll do is it'll start going back and forth. See right there, just a little gentle touch, little gentle touch, little gentle touch, and it'll wiggle its way back around as the Swiffer will go ahead and sweep underneath there. As we can see there, it gets right underneath the chair, flipping the little thing, and it's a very, very quiet vacuum. Extremely quiet. You literally could have someone sleeping in the room next to you, and you could be running this, or running it while you're watching TV. Very quiet. If you do have any low hanging areas that it might get trapped underneath, just go ahead and put something in its way so it doesn't go all the way under. But this is low profile enough to slip underneath chairs, which is absolutely fantastic. As we can see here, it's going right along the edge of the wall, just beautifully, guys. It'll just turn itself around if it can't fit in an area and go right back. Alexa, start CleanBot. Welcome to Pro Scenic Robotics. ProScenic Robotic can controls your robotic vacuum cleaner. You can say things like, start cleaning, start charging or stop cleaning. The robot will work as you saying, what would you like me to do? Start cleaning. And as we can see there folks, it doesn't fall down the stairs. It already cleaned over there, so I think it actually sensed that. Unless it's gonna work its way back over there. How about that ladies and gentlemen? Alexa working her magic. What would you like me to do? Stop cleaning. Clean bot, stop cleaning. I just need to look at my, my Amazon Alexa app because what I do is I tell it to start. It kind of goes through that introduction and then you tell it to stop. So I need to find out the shortcut for that. So for instance, Alexa, start clean bot. See, it'll go through that. So through the app, I should be able to edit that down and then you say it. Start cleaning. Hey, thank you, Alexa. The instructions right here, the quick start guide will show you how to set that up. You will need to download the app first. Just follow the instructions. It's all in the instructions right here. And then you log into your Amazon Alexa account, connect your app account. Again, real simple, just follow this. Don't skip any steps. Don't try to guess it. Once you have it linked up, it's really nice. Yes, this right here is boundary markers. You put that wherever you need to so the robot knows not to go those locations. And obviously, if you do not have an Amazon Echo or an Echo Dot, of course, there is the app. You can control it. It works really well. It actually will tell you your battery percentage here. It'll tell you all sorts of different things, auto cleaning, recharging, on and off, pause. I would show you, but I'm actually using my cell phone to film this. And then you also have the remote control as well. And then you have a uh, nice little gentle nudge there going around my foot. I'm gonna nickname you, I'm gonna nickname you Blue Lagoon. I like that one right there. So as we can see here, it just goes literally from the carpet to the linoleum. One stop shop, ladies and gentlemen. Just like normal vacuuming, move these things out of the way. Also, something like this, if it's really heavy, obviously no need to worry about it. But just go ahead and remove, just like you do normal vacuum, before you do start it up. Just kind of put those away, or tuck them, put them on a chair. But like heavy stuff like this, it's just gonna literally bump into it, roll around, head on out, head back in, let it do its thing. Hey now, that a boy. Well folks, the moment of truth, about 20 or 25 minutes, and look at that, right off the top, almost like a lint trap, 
just absolutely nasty and it did a great job picking up some of that nasty stuff. So we have a tab right here. All we're gonna do is lift that up and then it pulls up like this. The top comes up like this and go ahead and throw that into your trash can. Did a great job picking up a lot of real nasty action there. Take a look at that. As you saw in the video, my house is very clean. So it found plenty of junk as it swept around the edges of chairs, etc. Well, thank you guys so much for watching the review video. I will see you on the next one. My name is Chris. Enjoy your day in your robotic vacuum. And again, in the description box below is going to be that link where you can read more about it. Pick one up yourself in the description box below. You guys have a great day. Ciao, ciao.